Dude, just get up. It's 6.40. What time do you want to get up then? Okay. You should get up at 7.05. Okay. Go the door. What are you barking at, bro? Go downstairs. Jack, shut up. I'm taking a shower. I mean, I'm gonna get naked, so. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm off my knees. Bro, what are you doing to your face? Wash it up. Alright. Jack, I'm done. Jack, 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 Jack. It's just B-roll. the coffee and it's 705 I'm gonna try and make this 715 yoga class my dad is letting me borrow his car Ugh. start my morning I feel really good now it is 808 I feel really good I did not get a lot of sleep last night but I'm so glad I pushed myself to do an early morning workout cuz I haven't done an early morning workout in a minute that was just such a nice way to start the day I didn't like sweat a lot or anything but it was just a peaceful way to start my day off like stretching my body and everything and something she said in there really resonated with me she said your energy is a currency invest it wisely and invest it in yourself invest it into other people true so today i am gonna make sure that i am investing good energy into myself and not doing things that i know are gonna make me sad good energy today i'm so happy i did that i'm about to do something that is gonna cringe a lot of you out and i i'm still gonna do it this is what you get a lot of free time you get a 20 year old girl who thinks she can skateboard Neighbors are like, what the fuck? I've been reading for way too long like I have been wanting to get into reading again I was like you know what like all my friends reading all these like rom-com books and everything and I remember how much I used to enjoy reading rom-coms so Meredith oh Meredith like gave me one of her books it took me like two months to finish this <gasps> book Roxy 
it took me like two months to finish this book because I like lost it and just for some reason wasn't like prioritizing reading. I didn't find it. I rebought the book and I just finished it and it was really good. And then I took a nap, which I never take naps, but it just felt really nice. Lately, <laughs> these days, I've been doing like, or trying to do everything I can to just not be on my phone and scroll on social media because I notice that my worst days are literally when I'm like consumed by social media. So I'm really not trying to do that. If you're wondering what I'm doing, my mom makes these like power balls. They're like energy and protein and oats. And I just have to roll them into balls. Made myself some coffee. It is 11.20, which I'm so happy about that I got like a little workout in. Shower, I read my book, I nap. It just feels really good to like wake up early and just do stuff for yourself. And I've kind of been wanting to talk to you guys about like why I'm home. I feel like a lot of people are like, Hannah, why? the actual fuck are you home right now? Like you have a house in Hawaii, like why are you in Michigan? Why are you going to see your boyfriend? Like blah, blah, blah. I have been wanting to be out in Hawaii, but I was going through a tough mental patch for the past couple months, like the past two months. For those of you who don't know, I have a house in Hawaii and my family lives in Michigan and um, I'm in Michigan right now, but I've had this house in Hawaii since January and I have it till March, maybe longer if I'm uh, extending it but my roommates Meredith and Lexi could not be out there right now just because they wanted to be at home with their family for the fall I totally get that um, and I was kind of like trying to force myself to be out there alone for the fall and I could not get myself to do it like I could not imagine myself out there like all of October and all of November basically until Thanksgiving out there alone and then I didn't really want to go back and forth between Hawaii and Michigan for Thanksgiving and Christmas and I was just like okay so I don't think I'm going back to Hawaii until the new year but I'm still very excited for that I, I do miss it dearly I just like I don't know it can feel very isolating especially when you don't have like you're in the middle of the ocean and I do have friends out there I have amazing friends out there but I would be living alone for like two months and I wouldn't be able to see my boyfriend because my boyfriend's east coast and my family is here and I was just going through some anxiousness and some loneliness and I'm still kind of um working through like a lot of the weird not weird but like recent anxiety I've had and so I just never I didn't really think it was healthy for me to be out there alone um, so I've been spending a lot of time at home, but I can confidently say I'm feeling so much better. It, it has been a tough, you know, couple months. I've had some really good moments and some really bad moments, but I feel like if they're growing pains and I'm growing to love myself and uh, learning how to be alone and just growing up, a lot of what's helped me recently is just turning to God. And I remember... This was about a week ago. I've never really experienced a panic attack, but I had a panic attack in the middle of the night. It was just, yeah, I'm talking about this casually because I'm good now and everything's going to be okay. That's something that you need to remember when you're going through stuff like that. Um, I just had never experienced anything like that and I needed to spend more time with me, which is why I've just been taking it way slower. Like I need to spend time with me and figure out what I really want out of life. I was alone one morning eating breakfast and I still had that same like very anxious feeling. I was tapping through Instagram stories and I saw my friend Brooke and she said I was having like an anxious moment like this video really helped me. Hope it can help you too. And it was just talking about how God can be our constant peace and how God already has a plan for all of us and it just really really like it i was just like sitting in this like cafe alone crying so thankful that i watched that video and i'll link it down below too that was like a really big turning moment for me because i've i mean i don't talk about religion on this channel i've always been catholic um always went to church with my family always have prayed and there was definitely a time where i was a little bit closer to god but after that whole experience i've just been leaning on him so much and it's brought me so much peace and I've never really like experienced anything like it. Shout out to Meredith also for buying me my first Bible. I've had a Bible before, but I never really like read it. And I know this, I mean, hopefully this helps some of you that have been like looking to get closer to God and it really is just turning to him every day. And that is what I've been trying to do. I've been 
going on walks because that'll ease my mind and maybe listen to a podcast. I've been listening to Sadie Robertson's podcast, which is really nice. Basically why I'm not out in Hawaii alone is because I was going through it a little and we're getting so much better now. I'm actually, my weekend plans, me, Meredith, her friend Sophie, and then Lexi, we're all going to New York City and we're gonna celebrate Meredith's 21st, which I am so excited for. And then after that, I actually have an Airbnb in New York City that I'm gonna be staying at for a month um, because Starlight Village, that's also another kind of promise that I've made to myself recently or something I wanna put a lot more energy into. She came home because she missed me. Please. <laughs> yeah, long story short, just miss my mom. A promise that I've kind of had to myself and something I have been wanting to put more energy into is my jewelry business, which is Starlight Village. A lot of the people I work with for Starlight are based out of New York now, and so it'll be really helpful to be like hands-on and focus some good time working on that in the city for a month and then after that, I'll have Christmas, and then I'll go back to Hawaii. So I hope that maybe the video that I linked down below can help anyone because it was a really big turning moment for me because I was just struggling so much, and I immediately just turned to God, and He took so much pressure and stress away from me, and it was just such an incredible feeling, and anytime I'm feeling anxious now, I will pray to God, and I'm just excited to learn. Yeah, that's a little personal. I really don't ever talk about religion, but I do feel like that's important because that is what is saving my ass. <laughs> so if you are in a similar position, please just turn to God, and you will seriously feel so much peace. And yeah, I just want to be real with you guys. Like, this channel is not only me just trying to figure myself out, but... It's hopefully guiding you guys into a positive direction too. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a video on like g things that help me get out of a funk. Like a funk, like a... Just where your mind's like spiraling and you just feel down in the dumps and not yourself. Um, I can share what helps me. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because one, I feel like it's important to talk about what got me out of like such a weird anxious time for the past few months really and honestly it's so funny because i feel like a lot of you noticed it too like oh i hope you're okay you know <laughs> if you're feeling alone or anxious or anything please just please talk to people that you trust and love they're only going to want the best for you and to lead you <gasps> into the right and to lead you into the right direction so really important we all take care of ourselves i feel like a lot of people were just like what why are you home now like where are you like where are you i don't know where i belong i kind of like had a very bad not bad mindset but i had this mindset where i was like i don't know where i belong i don't know where i belong i don't know where i belong i don't belong anywhere i don't know where i'm needed blah 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 blah. like where am i supposed to fit in this world to changing it from that mindset to I do belong everywhere. I am needed everywhere. Like I do have purpose wherever I go. It's not just one per certain spot or with one certain person. Like you have purpose wherever you go in every person's life that you touch. So that has also helped me a lot. But yeah, right now I'm still living out of my suitcase, but this next week will be such an adventure being in New York and just f kind of seeing if I do like it enough to uh, live there because I don't know what's after Hawaii. Like maybe I'm really gonna love it there and um, I'm gonna wanna stay there and maybe I'm gonna wanna, you know, move to New York after Hawaii and hopefully that makes sense for a lot of you. I know for some people it might not make sense because I have this beautiful home in Hawaii and I do miss it so much, but I gotta take care of myself first and that means, you know, taking it slow, hanging with family, not really doing a lot of crazy going around all the time and then i will be so ready and prepared to celebrate meredith's 21st and then be in the city and get some work done i actually think i'm gonna go i actually think i'm gonna go to a coffee shop so yeah i did end up going to a coffee shop a couple days later but i'm really gonna try and be more active on here life is confusing and i appreciate you guys being so patient with me i love you and i'll see you soon